Here is how you smoothly zoom in and out in Adobe Premiere Pro. To show you how to do this, I am gonna be using free stock footage from Pexels. So first thing we wanna do is drag our footage into our timeline. Then let's come over to the effects panel or use the shortcut Shift 7. And then we want to search for transform. Under distort, apply the transform effect. Great, so what I wanna do is at this point, start zooming in on the building up above here. So to do this, we need to set keyframes. So come over to your effect controls panel. We will select the little stopwatch here to toggle the animation. When you click on that, it creates a keyframe. I'm also gonna set a keyframe for the position, which allows us to drag and position our clip as we would like. I will add more keyframes here. And now I will just adjust the scale and then I will adjust the position to center this building right here. So let's click this little arrow here to go to the first keyframe and watch our animation. So right now that's a little bit too slow for me. So I'm going to start the animation a little bit later and end it a little bit earlier. Okay, great. But right now, as you can see, this animation is fairly static. So what we wanna do is select all of the keyframes here, right click, go to temporal interpolation, click ease in, and then do the same steps, right click, temporal interpolation, ease out. So to see what these are doing, I am gonna scroll down the position, click that here, and let's zoom in by clicking in the empty space and using the shortcut plus, dragging this to center it. And so as you can see, now we have an eased animation, which zooms in, and that already looks pretty cool, but I wanna make this even smoother. So what I'm gonna do is go one, two, 14, 15 keyframes to the right, and I am going to drag this little circle and center it with my playhead. I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side with this keyframe up here. I'm gonna drag this over a little more just to give it some character. And now here is the key so that your animation doesn't get screwed up. We also need to do this little dragging with the scale. So I am going to twirl down the scale, select our right keyframe, and then you have to be careful here, but drag this across and try to keep the line straight. And I messed it up, so I'm gonna try it again. Make sure you keep this straight and that this stays in line as well. So there we go. You can also drag these bottom ones. I find that the top ones are just easier for me, but you might find that it's easier to use the bottom one. Then we have to match up the left side here. So center our playhead again, and then select the scale keyframe and drag this over, keeping it flat. And now when we play back our animation, it has a zoom that has a little bit more character than what it had when we just eased in and eased it out. But I want some motion blur to make the zoom look a little more realistic. Luckily, this is really easy. All we have to do is come over to the transform effect that we applied, scroll down here, and then uncheck use compositions shutter angle. Then what we want to do is change the shutter angle to 180. We can also change it to 360 if we want some more blur. As you can see, now it has a little bit of motion blur. Let's change it to 360, and now it has a lot more motion blur. So I actually like having it on 360 for this because it is a bit of a slower zoom, and now you have your smooth zoom. So let's take this one step further. Let's say you wanna move your zoom over to a different part of the shot. All you have to do is let's go forward a few keyframes, select our clip, set another keyframe, and let's go forward a little bit and then change the position so that we are focusing on this little, I don't even know what this is, this feat of architecture right here. So as you can see, we will go from zooming in on that building to zooming to this. And that was very abrupt. So we wanna make that a lot smoother. So come back over to your effect controls panel. And as you can see, the reason that it is very abrupt like that is because this keyframe is shot up here. So all we have to do is drag this down and over. And we can do the same with this left one. And now when we play that back, you have a smooth transition. Now for that one, we didn't have to change the scale. So it made it a lot easier. We didn't have to match anything up. But again, if you wanna change the scale, just line up your playhead with the middle of these little dots. Let's set another scale keyframe at the end here. Let's come back. Let's say we want to scale out a little bit and we'll come here, drag this over. And now we will select, drag to the middle of the circle, drag our scale playhead over, keeping it flat. We did not keep it flat. So if, you, if you're struggling, try and zoom in just using that plus key and drag this over. There we go. Now let's center it with this right one. And we can't center it because we didn't do it exactly, but that's fine. You can just do it on the edge. So let's line up the edge here. Make sure that circle, the edge of that circle is lined up. And now 
We have the zoom out and the position change. And that's all there is to it. So if this helped you out and you're going to use it in a project in the future, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And check out this video if you want to learn a little bit more about Premiere Pro. I'll see you in the next one.